the streets of London, central London, where you can see all the architecture, the wide sidewalks, people on bikes, double-decker buses, and all the different styles of buildings. Quite busy, it's on a Sunday. And yeah, different from Dubai, certainly different from where we were staying. Uh, and it's a nice sight to see. Everyone's very friendly here in London. So far we haven't had any issues, only good experience. That was a phone booth. And we're continuing our journey. Let's go. Here we are walking in London. This is outside where we live. Big double-decker bus, which is the public transit. Those are not tour buses. We ate there a couple days ago at Oodles. And yeah, this is the street of London. And it's not London Central, it's different. London Central is more fancy. This is an older part of London with even telephone booths like this, where you can place a regular call. I don't know how many people are still using those, but my daughter's decided to go eat at Subway. We traveled 10 hours and thousands of kilometers just to eat at Subway. Yeah, <laughs> you see the problem, but that's okay. If they want Subway, we can give them Subway once in a while. All right, let's continue. We are living in an Airbnb in this building along this path. And right outside our home is a market. We have fresh fruits and vegetables for very cheap right outside our gate. It's pretty cool living here in London. So this is something we found uh, through Airbnb and it's perfect, exactly what we need. Look, we have everything fresh right here in the market. Here we are at the London Eye, the big Ferris wheel on the River Thames, right next to Big Ben, right over there. And there's another big castle over there, I'm not sure what that's called. Here I am in London. This is the famous Ferris wheel behind me. And yeah, it's another beautiful day. We picked a good time to come. It's not too hot, not too cold, it's not raining as often it is in London. And yeah, messy hair aside, it's a beautiful day. I'm here with my family, those girls right there with my wife and Daenerys. And we're gonna explore this part of central London today. Yes. We were on the Uber boat. I don't see an Uber boat at the moment, but they actually had, there it is. You see that Uber boat? Docked. Yeah, they have Uber boats in London, taking you across the River Thames, and they move very quickly too. Here is the London Eye from a different perspective with the Uber boat. And we're much closer now to Big Ben. He's bigger than he looked before with the castle next to him. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go on that Ferris wheel, but it is impressive. And the Big Ben, can we go into the tower? I don't, I'm not sure, but it is a big clock for sure. And that's the castle with lots of people. All right, let's keep going. Here we are at the base of Big Ben. You can see just how tall it is. And it's next to the Palace of Westminster. That is the name of this big structure, which we may go, go inside or maybe not. However, we're here to see Big Ben. This is the Westminster Abbey. A pretty unique architecture. But it's closed on Sundays and today is Sunday. So we can't go inside. And that is St. Margaret's Church. Ferris on top of Daddy. <laughs> Once again. So as you can see, the visiting times of the Westminster Abbey do not include Sunday. But yeah, from the outside, Pretty impressive. We are at a hotel. This is opposite the London Eye, and it's a very tall building. Beautiful gardens. As you can see, the London Eye is right there through the trees. And yeah, 
There's a lot of people here. It's a public place. There's my wife. And this is the Royal Horse Guards Hotel. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, we're probably not going to stay here, but it's a nice place to visit with its own ping pong table outdoors. Right here. Anyone for a game? Here is a fancy residence in the heart of central London. This is a courtyard where you can see all these apartments. The main street is right there. We just walked in because we wanted to check out this area and it's pretty cool. To the friendship of English speaking people. Okay, what about non-English speaking people? Looks like a pretty, pretty biased statue there, but okay. And we're continuing to walk through central London. We're heading to the Amazon Fresh store. Oh, by the way, these bikes, they're Uber bikes. You can rent them with the Uber app. And you just ride as long as you want. Then when you stop, leave it wherever you are. You don't need to park them anywhere in particular. Okay, we're crossing the street. Let's go. All the street lights have this, this countdown, which tells you how much time you have before it turns red. So I'm out of time, but I just made it. Here we are at a park in London. People are playing football, having a picnic, just barbecue. And it's nice because it's in the middle of the city. You can see the residential buildings around us. Large trees, well-maintained park. My kids are playing tag over there. There's Daenerys. She's running, running, running. Let's zoom in. Hi, Daenerys. Hi, Daenerys. You having fun? <laughs> Did you find them? Okay. Then there's another one here. <laughs> and two more over there. And Abby's off with her friends. We don't know where she is exactly, but she's somewhere in London. Big girl, Abby. And yeah, here I am. We just had lunch. This is our lunch uh, bags from Amazon. Yes, the Amazon Fresh. I won! And it's pretty cool because they, you just put the stuff in your basket and you walk out. You scan your uh, Amazon app on the way out and it just charges your credit card. You don't even need to, you don't even need to scan any of the items that you put into your bag. <laughs> There's only two employees in the whole store just to make sure everything is working well and to answer any questions you may have. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Amazon Fresh, new idea. All right, so let's enjoy this park while we sit on this bench and take it easy from all the walking we've been doing. All right, take care. The Last Judgment. That's an interesting name. I think it's a restaurant. There's a loud car here. Nice architecture. These little gold lions. Little statues. This is a residential area near the park we were just at. And it's a very quiet street, very private, and empty, mostly. It's on a Sunday. I'm surprised it's so empty. We saw a few people walking dogs, but uh, mostly uh, nothing. Here we are at the King's College Library. This isn't the college, this is just the library. Some fancy architecture here with the statues of a king. Queen, scholars maybe, but that's a knight. And it's uh, been donated 22 years ago to the college, which is about a 10 minute walk from here. It's got a beautiful 
grounds. Those are apartments, privately owned. Nothing to do with the college. But yeah, look at the windows. Grand, tall mosaics. And it's a tall building. I feel quite small, quite small compared to the structure. Yeah, okay. Quiet place, let's move on. Here is some modern construction in London, very fancy glass building. Now they're doing demolition here. This is demolition in progress. So we can't see inside, but it's probably gonna be another modern building. And yeah, we're just wandering through this alleyway just to see what's over here. A little off map, but it's pretty cool. As I said, that building is what caught my attention. We are now in the Dubai Eye. This is the eye of the storm, as they say. Above us is the whole Ferris wheel. And here is the... So this is looking outside the Dubai Eye. Let's go up. Now we're a little higher as we slowly traverse the big wheel. You can see Big Ben in the distance there. And we will be slowly rising to the top. I'll show it to you when we reach the pinnacle. And here's me in the cabin as we go up. Now we're almost at the top and you can see the skyline of London. Lots of trees, actually. More than I expected. Especially right there. It's not a concrete jungle. Did you see? Sorry. And down there you can see all the boats. That's an Uber boat. And different tourist boats. So we're approaching the top. You can see above us, there's a few more. Almost there. Almost there. Now we're at the top. This is the pinnacle of the London Eye. And you can see everything around you. As you can see, we are at the same height as the next car. And looking down, you can see the whole river. End to end. Okay, let's go look at the other side. This is the other side of the London view. From the highest point of the London Eye. Quite a sight. Okay. That's it. Here is the London Eye from behind. A massive Ferris wheel which you just saw from the inside. There's the big structural support anchoring that massive heavy object. Can't imagine building that and then attaching it to that center anchor. That's a feat of engineering. To be honest, look at that. Yeah, this is the iconic symbol of London. It's been compared to the Eiffel Tower of Paris. But come on, Eiffel Tower is, I think, a bit more impressive than a big wheel, don't you? Still, it's considered the iconic symbol of London. Hi, Abby. Show me your face. There you are, no, you're a beautiful girl. No, I just want to, I don't have my lashes yet. Oh, your lashes are so important. <laughs> Does daddy have lashes? 
Mmm. I think I have normal sized lashes and so does Abby, but she likes to have her artificial lashes to make them look even bigger. All right, that was the Ferris wheel, the world's largest, I believe, operating Ferris wheel. Dubai has a bigger wheel, but it doesn't spin. Apparently they couldn't get the permits for operating it as a public attraction. Well, because so. it wasn't like strong enough, it was, it was sinking. So they yeah. say the foundation wasn't built strong enough. Anyway, it's a nice paperweight at the moment in Dubai. Okay, world's largest active Ferris wheel in London.